interesting little discovery as I started sanding, getting down through the layers, trying to get to the wood. I stopped and looked at it and I went, uh oh, I like that. What if I stained the raw wood, put a clear coat over it, and left it? Uh, Cedar's on her way back from the grocery store. I'm not sure how she's gonna feel with it. Whoa. Color. Enough to keep it? Um, it kind of looks like an Easter egg, but yeah. I'd rather this be on the inside than black. But I don't know, do you think it'll stand out too much with the brown siding? So if it's got that brown cedar siding in it. Or I just keep working on it. I worked on the backside for three days. Side the front then? Yeah, I think I think it will be it will blend in better with the siding.
about six or seven years ago, we, we restored an old uh, farmhouse, a hundred year old uh, home in Snowflake, Arizona. And this is one of the things that I did to the front door. And not too long ago, they listed that house for sale. Um, the, the second or third owner since we sold it. And they commented that it had the original front door. I thought that was hilarious because the front door that was on the house was a door that was gonna be thrown in the trash. And I went and got it from some friends and spent a few hours sanding and properly distressing the door and sealing. And everybody that saw that door assumed that door was as old if not older than the house. And so uh, using that polyurethane uh, Varathane, I've used it. I love the stuff, works easy. Um, I will say that if the door is gonna be exposed to direct sunlight, you need to use uh, the proper um, polyurethanes. There are some with UV protectants in it. But this stuff, with the look that we're going for, you, you can't screw it up, you really can't. Um, I could have distressed it more, but I'm really, really happy with the way it turned out. I can't wait to see what that Varathane does on the other side of the door.